This is me adrift in a pilot survival raft for 24 hours alone. Keep watching because later on in the video, it all goes terribly wrong. I'm sinking. I'm, I'm actually sinking. I've got, well, the, the whole thing's like falling apart on me. You can see down here. There's just, there's just water everywhere. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Mike, and I'm here in sunny Lake District in Cumbria. It is beautiful. It is stunning. And you're probably wondering, what are you doing here with an aviation channel? Well, yeah. If you're a long-time viewer of the channel, you will know that we used to do adventures. We'd go out kayaking. We'd go to islands, uh, island hop, camp overnight, all sorts of stuff. But I've been doing a lot of aviation-related content recently. And I thought to myself, I want to try and bring the two together. I want to come out to these stunning places, but also bring something a bit fun, a bit different, and something someone else hasn't done before. So in today's video, for you adventurers out there, we've got some stuff. And for you aviation geeks like me, we've also got some stuff as well. So join me on this little adventure. And it's a mini review as well. So uh, we're going to just just follow me. Let's uh, Let's show you this. So if you haven't guessed what it is yet, this is an ejection seat survival raft. So this is a fast jet fighter pilot survival raft. And I'm going to be spending the next 24 hours in this raft and letting you know what it's like, what it feels like, what it's like to sleep in, all the myths. Is it going to pop? Can I repair it? And everything like that. So uh, join me on this adventure and uh, we're going to spend 24 hours on the survival raft. Let's watch it inflate. There we go guys. So it's fully inflated. It took a while. We didn't have the CO2 kit uh, that would automatically deploy it. Uh, but this is going to be my home for the next 24 hours. So, uh, we're going to load it up with some rations and supplies. I did buy some proper life raft, um, survival food, but it didn't arrive in time for the challenge. However, I believe it's arrived at home now. So probably at the end of the video, I'm going to go and test and try some of it so you can see what it's like. Uh, but let's hope this stays afloat. Uh, and we're going to go out in the lake for the next 24 hours. Let's uh, give this a try. Guys, I've made myself a realistic survival pack of what would be in there. Uh, so these are things we're going to use, right? So I've got a waterproof sack. I've got a Kendall mint cake, being so we're in the Lake District. Uh, this would uh, probably uh, simulate something similar in there that's quite high energy. Uh, so we're going to have that. We're going to also put a Leatherman tool in there, multi-tool. I'm going to put some gaffer tape or some uh, uh, duct tape in there, just in case we get any punctures. Uh, we're gonna take the GoPro, that's what we're gonna film off in there. I'm gonna take a radio, so we're gonna, we have got a lifeguard on site. Liam, say hello. hello. So Liam is our resident David Hasselhoff <laughs> of the day, and he's gonna make sure that I am safe out there. So he's gonna have a radio, I've got a radio. Uh, we're going to have a torch, a picnic bar, of course, and a pack of monster munch. Right, okay, I guess you wouldn't get them on a real survival raft, but I've got to have something for the next 24 hours. But I'm hoping the candle mint cake will give me enough, um, enough energy to stay out there. Also, I'm going to take a paddle. Now, I have seen some of these life rafts. There's not much information on these online, but I have seen some of them come with a very small paddle, probably about that size. And the paddle uh, usually has reflective tape on, so you can use it for signaling as well. So for safety, I'm gonna take a paddle out with me. And we've got some paracord, which I'm gonna cut off. So we're gonna anchor ourselves out there when we're there, so I don't blow into shore. Then I'm gonna move on to the life raft. So you'll see it's smaller than the, the ones you see in the movies and on TV. This is designed just for a single man. Uh, I believe this is out of a Harrier, a Sea Harrier. So uh, this is what would have been packed in a Sea Harrier. 
Uh, I might be wrong, and if I am, please correct me and let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, the, the information on these is very limited. I couldn't find a lot out there. Um, it can be used with this or without this, so we'll see how this goes. There's a, there's a, there is a puncher in this, so uh, we'll see if it lasts. But that will cover you up, and you can be completely waterproof if there's a storm out there. Uh, we've got the inflation tubes here, here, and here, so we can blow it up if it starts going down. This one... is going down quite a bit, so I think we're going to be blowing that quite often. Uh, I don't say that very often either. Uh, right, and there's also a little packet here, but we'll sh I'll show you that when we're on board. It gives us something to do, won't it? Um, right, let's have some fun. Let's get out there, and let's have a look at me drowning in a uh, Royal Navy life raft. Let's go. Wish me luck. Be uncomfy. Right, so let's check for boats. No one's coming. We're good. Right. It feels like there's water coming in. Now, I don't know if that's just off my sandals. I think it might be just off my sandals. So, we've got a boat coming. I'm on a survival life raft. And it's a little bit scary, I'm not going to lie. And it's going down. Right, so, wave to the people. Hi. Right, so... Everybody's probably looking at me to say, what is this guy doing? But uh, yeah, here we go. This is it. Challenge has started. All right, my feet are off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna collapse the oar. There we go. There's not a lot of room. Let's go, so we've got 24 hours on this. It's wet. Am I gonna make 24 hours? I don't know. Um, but uh, we'll, we will see. We will see and we will see what happens. Right, we've got another big boat coming now. Here it is. Again, people are going to be like, what's this guy doing? Hello, everybody. I think my, I think I've come untethered. I have come untethered. I need to get back tethered. Hold on. We've got um, a little pack here as well, so we'll have a look at. So there's a sponge, which I need because I've got loads of water here. So let's currently get that sponge down there and get get this water out of the life raft. Uh, what is this? To prevent seasickness, hydrobromide tablet. Okay, so it's telling you to take tablets, hydrobromide tablets. Okay, so you've got some instructions on here, and there's a plug. I'm guessing this plug. Oh, look at that! That works really well. That does. So that's getting that's getting me dry. What else is in here? I think this might be a, what they call a sea anchor, maybe. Or I'm not sure if that what that is. Oh, it's a pump. Oh, so we've got a little hand pump. That's cool. Now, have I come untethered from this? No, oh, I'm still tethered to the to the boy. My uh, my thoughts are on this. It's very uncomfortable. Imagine if you was in all your flight gear. I was going to do it in flight gear, and I thought, nah. That's too risky. I forgot my life jacket as well, so I've come out without my life jacket on, um, which I shouldn't have done, but I've got Liam, and I'm close to shore, and I'm a really competent swimmer, so I should be fine. Um, but yeah, so we've been in here around about an hour now. I'm a little bit bored. I've brought my phone with me, so I'm gonna play, have a go on my phone. I've got the reception, I think. But yeah, um, 
my first thoughts are so obviously this is a second hand one uh, bought from a surplus dealer but it's not very comfy at all right it's comfy in respect i can i can lie down but there's still water coming in and i can't decide if the water is coming in or if it's just water that i bought in when i got in i've got a feeling we've got water coming in um i've had a lot i've got a lot of sponges worth of water still but the sponge is good the sponge is a good idea Receiving loud and clearly. How are you doing out there? You okay? Is the raft holding up? Uh, I'm okay, mate. Everything's good. I've got a few leaks on the uh, on the boat uh, on the raft. Uh, it's going down slowly, but uh, it, it's going. I think we'll be fine for the 24 hours, hopefully. Uh, I don't know. What, I didn't record the time when I left. How long have we been out here now? You've been out there for seven hours. No. No way, that's, uh, that's mud. Right, okay, I will uh, message you, keep the radio next to you, and then I'll message you if, uh, if I do need you. Hello mate, right, I've got a problem, I've got comms down. The, the radio battery's died. <laughs> oh, darn it. So okay. good. Uh, I've got plenty of signal. I've got plenty of life on my phone though. But also, uh, mate, I've, I forgot to bring my water and my sunglasses. Hang on, behind you, behind you, the speedboat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get close. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, um, I've got no water and I've got no, uh, I've got no sunglasses. So what I've got with me is a bait boat. And that can load it all up so I can send my Oh, bait yeah, bait you can send out. your bait boat out, yeah. Right. Bags and, a, and a pile of water. Yeah, please, mate. All right, give all me right. Five. See you in a bit. Bye, bye. See you, mate. Right, so Liam has a remote control boat that he's for his fishing. He's going to send that out to me. This is our support craft, shall we say. Here he comes. And he's bought my sunglasses. Oh, you need to bring it to the side. I can't get to the front. Where is it? I can't see the angle from here. Okay, go forward. Okay. No, you're going back. Go forward. There we go. Right, so my sunglasses have been delivered and water. This is like Deliveroo uh, survival version. There we go. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I'm about eight hours in and uh, I'm getting a bit hungry, so I'm going to crack open the Kendall Mint Cake. So anybody out there that hasn't had these before or anyone that's in America watching, or these are really, really tasty. i tell you what I'm going to do while I'm over in the Lake District. I'm going to buy another one of these. I'll buy another five of these and I will we'll send them out to anybody that comments on the video that says they want a Kendall Mint Cake. And then add me on Instagram, Mike Barnett Official on Instagram, and I can get all your address details. But uh, yeah, guys, these are really tasty. Free subscriber giveaway. So subscribe to the channel, comment down below that you want one, and I'll get you a Kendall Mint Cake. Right, I'll show you what they look like. I'm gonna go easy on this. We're gonna have two squares now. Okay, so that's actually one square, I thought it was two, but, right. Bon Appetit. So, they're very, very minty. But very sweet. Almost like a, a minty sugar lump. That's what it's kind of like. I imagine that's all it is. But they're very famous around this area. And, uh Sometimes we used to have these in the army as well. We'd put them in a, 
our top pocket and use all my wood tabbing just to get energy but we smashed the big bars have real big bars in it it's getting dark now starting to lose some light right candle mid cake done oh got a boat crew There we go, wave to the people. Say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> it's really dark outside now. I'm gonna try and get some sleep tonight. I'm gonna have a little bit more my candle big cake. Oh, if I can find it. Right, one thing in this boat, it's so hard to find anything. Right, hold on. My little It's all the candlebin cakes, all soggy <laughs> and horrible, but it's quite creepy because I can't see out. But it is really warm, so my body heat's providing enough heat to keep me warm, and I think I'll be able to sleep. Um, yeah, look outside, you can see. Pretty dark, but wish me luck through the night. But wish me luck, and hopefully, I'll survive the night. I'm not going to get hit by a rogue speedboat, and uh, my boat stays afloat. I've got this. This is going down quite often. So I'm having to blow on it. But uh, we'll be all right, guys. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. I've just woke up and I'm abs. I'm sinking. I'm, I'm actually sinking. I'm full of water everywhere. The whole, the whole raft is full of water. I'm gonna try and blow the bottom up. See if it's how. I can't find it, the poo in it. We can't go up. <coughs> oh no. The actual, the actual raft is, uh, is come apart. The actual raft is falling apart. The actual tube, the raft is falling apart. The tube has come out of the inflation socket. I don't know how to get this on. <laughs> so, I came in. What a night. Okay guys, so I'm back. Uh, I'm back in my hometown and I'm by a smaller, safer lake. And uh, I've got to say, that was pretty traumatic. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that anybody does it. Uh, a quick recap on it. It started well, although I knew there was some underlying issues with the raft. Uh, and as the day went on, it slowly started to fill up with more and more water. I managed to try and get it out. But ultimately, as soon as I fell asleep, I couldn't control that. It started going down, started filling up with water, and it wasn't safe for me to stay in it any longer. So I had to bail out and uh, go back to the safety of my tent. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody, uh, and you've got to give it to the people that have actually used these in real life situations. It must be terrifying and so hard and difficult. So, uh, guys, I wouldn't recommend that you try this at home. However, I do want to try one of the bigger survival rafts. So if anybody knows of one, please let me know and uh, we'll give that a go. Maybe in the sea next time. We'll see. See. <laughs> but I did say I promised if I made it out there alive, I would show you the rations that I found 
uh, that most of these survival rafts have in them. So these are called Seven Oceans. They are standard emergency rations. You get nine in a pack. So that's the pack. And one bar contains 297 calories. Imagine one of these could last you a day, possibly, or maybe two a day, depending how long you're adrift for. Probably start on one a day or maybe half a day even. You don't you don't know, do you? So, uh, right, let's put the camera down. Here we go. And let's let's open these. So I wonder if they're in individual packets. I imagine they are to keep them dry. Because like we said, we had the issues with the Kendall mint cakes and they were uh, they were getting soggy. OK, so we're in a tin foil pack here. And is there an easy way of opening this? So these are from Norway, apparently. OK, I think you just got to go for it. Just rip it. OK, and then inside this tinfoil pack. We have individually wrapped bars. So I'm not going to eat all nine of these guys. If you want one of these as well, uh, you can either have a Kendall mint cake or I will send you one of these bars. So uh, put it down in the comments down below and you can try one of these too. But let's wrap, get one out. Here we go. Oh, and they're broke. These are into, broken into two. So we have two inside. You see that? Let's give it a try. Very, very, very sweet. Easy to bite. I thought it'd be harder. Not very nice. Bit like shortbread, but not as nice. Wow. There we go. I said I'd try it. So guys, if you want one, put it in the comments down below. I'm going to end this video here. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm back safe, thank God. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Guys, take care. Speak to you soon.